Hey guys, and welcome back to XCOM Terror from the Deep. Now, unfortunately, in the last episode, we discovered that, uh, well, it looks like we are shit out of luck for mind control. Um, that has just bugged. I've looked over loads and loads and loads of uh, information on that particular bug on the forums, and... Essentially, if it happens, then there's nothing we can do. So we are going to have a zero mind control run. Which, you know, unfortunately it is what it is. Uh, personally, I love molecular control in this game. I really enjoy it. It's so much fun. And I was really looking forward to trying it with the new rules from... Um, from this game uh, but unfortunately computer says no so we do have a lot of rookies I wonder maybe it's cleared itself I don't know we do have a lot of rookies that need training up and I guess now there's no point in holding on um, or holding out on finally invading the enemy base we may as well go and take that out now I'm not looking forward to that that is going to be rather terrifying <clears throat> because that is the nature of alien bases they are horrifying and I'm really not looking forward to and I keep forgetting we can go up and down with the mouse haha <laughs> the mouse will what the fuck why did I forget that that is really stupid I suppose years and years of uh, doing it the old school way right let's get you guys high I wonder yeah see just still saying throw I thought there's a small part of me that was hoping maybe because we've reloaded the game that may have reset but nope once we're in that uh, death spiral of bugginess we are shit out of luck I guess that's so unfortunate. But we are going to go take down the alien base. And we are going to need to use lots and lots of stun equipment. Because we need to capture a commander. And there are commanders in the base. We will probably take losses. So maybe taking our rookies might not be a terrible idea. Oh, hey. I guess we have just spotted an alien. You give me a name shot. Come on. That was a good solid hit, but we need more. We need much more. Um, can you get a good aim shot off on this guy? 63%. We'll take it. Oh, no. No, of course you can't. 63% is not great, is it? Right, uh, let's get you out of the way. And up. Nice. You, buddy. Uh, you. Can get nice and high. And you should be able to go for a snap. Yeah, 52% chance. Which is probably going to be a miss. Yeah, because 52% is never enough. Um, you can't go up. Oh, you're in just in standard armor. Oh, dude. We've really got to sort that out, haven't we? you got no line of sight. Because, of course, you don't. Can we get you? 31. You can give me one of those. Yeah. Yeah, that, that ain't going to cut it, chief. That's not going to cut it. Not by a long shot. Let's go for an aim shot. 69%. He's on a downward trajectory, so... <sighs> no. No. Really should stop taking these, I suppose. Start getting these bad boys back. We've definitely reached that point where... Stun ammo is just kind of pointless. Well, no, it's not pointless. It's just our dudes can't really use it. 
I very much doubt there's anyone in that corner because we would have seen them by now. There is another guy. Right, should we try that again, chaps? Aim shot, 63%. That'll do. That will do. That's not too shabby. Alright, let's start spreading everyone out a little bit. There we go. Advance. Um, you? Let's get everybody up high. And we are definitely going to be dropping. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we can keep hold of those. We're definitely going to be go uh, dropping the molecular control items because they're absolutely pointless. Oh, I don't want to believe it though. That's the only thing. I don't want to believe we've got to give up molecular control. That was going to make the end of the game so much less stressful, but I guess I guess it is what it is at this point, guys, you know? It is what it is. This game, in truth, was always uh, a humongously buggy mess. But... <sighs> oh, that's the edge. But it's frustrating how much of a buggy mess it still is, you know? Right, you are a rookie. Aim shot for 45%. Mm, well, you did get it in the right area, I suppose. What else have we got? We're not going to be using you guys. Definitely not wasting... Oh, nice. Definitely not wasting the Disruptor Pulse Launchers. There's no way. We're going to need to be saving all of those now. And there is our little craft. It has ruptured. Of course it has. That's a shame. Would have been nice to see this thing stay intact, but... I don't think they ever really stay intact. But, because that's blown open, we can cover it from this side and we can approach. Hopefully. What we could do, I suppose, you. Let's just get you moving down here. There isn't going to be anyone down there, I don't think. Famous last words, yadda yadda yadda, but... We might as well make sure. Alright. Alright, everyone advance. Maybe not everyone. Advance slowly. Just make sure there's a couple of dudes hanging back, just in case. Don't use... Uh, not get everyone to use all of their TUs. Make sure they've got reserved for snapshots. Good enough. Ooh. Oh, you little saucy sausage, you. They are sly. Snap, 51%. Oof. Actually, surprised that hit. Not going to lie. Ooh, that was spicy. Anybody else hiding down here? I'm going to say probably not, but... It's not actually a very good spot for our displacer, to be honest. Because the uh, armor underneath is very weak. Um, right, let's get some more dudes moved up. But I think they can actually get hit from underneath here. So maybe that's not a great tactic either. Ooh. All right. And we can't get the displacer to go inside. Which is a shame. That would have been quite nice, to be honest. Um, let's get you parked up there. And let's get you moving in. There's going to be one sneaky little sod right in the back. You know it. You know it. I know it. You know it. We all know it. I'm thinking assault the place with like three guys that will be enough or four guys really 
He's literally just going to hide. Which is unfortunate. We could get a nade in there, maybe, but... Hmm. I guess we could go in that side as well. Yeah, it might not be a terrible idea, thinking about it. Alright, let's get you going. And one more, you. Those two can go in the front. Everyone else can crowd around outside. Guess really you could just advance on foot. Three in the back, three in the front. That sounds good to me. Ooh, there he is, contact. Come on, where are you? There you are. Give me 46%. 52%. Ah, oh, of course. Of course. Let's drop this down. Is it just the one? Ah, oh, no line of fire. The way this game does calculate the line of fire, line of fire is totally bogus at times. We got aquaplastics, but nothing else really. Um, none of our rooks got any XP, which sucks. But that's the way this game goes. Okay. So we need to start thinking about assaulting the base, which. I don't want to. I really don't want to. But we have no choice. Uh, let's equip our sub. Um, we are going to get casualties from this. We just are. Uh, we need our... We need some really good people. We want everybody with flying suits. Not that that's really going to make a huge amount of difference here. Uh, everyone on Triton needs to have magnetic iron armor. Um, you can have iron armor then. Uh, I mean, we're taking some rookies into the base. So... If some people die, hopefully it will be the rookies. We're going to take the tank into the base as well because we can use the tank to bait the tentaculants. Um, well, I guess it's now or never, really. Oh, boy. This is going to go really badly. I, I can feel it in, in my bones. In my bones. Still, we have no choice. Lobster Man Squad Leader. Alien Colony Expansion. Aliens will construct secret undersea colonies in remote locations. After some initial reconnaissance, f uh, flight some intense alien subs... Uh, oh, reconnaissance flights some intense alien subs... Uh, Sub-activity will occur as the colony is being built. These colonies are known to contain labs, cloning centers, surgical facilities for human and alien experimentation. The presence of alien colonies will generate a more alien activity without the presence of alien subs. In order to locate a colony, XCOM subs must patrol an area for a few hours to stand some chance of successful detection. Yeah. Yep. Well... Alien learning arrays. Utilizing molecular control implants in the skulls of alien, all aliens, these machines inject information directly into the brain. Freshly cloned aliens are brought to these units and have uh, radical memories and all scientific... Oh, yeah, radical memories and all scientific combat information downloaded into their blank minds. Oof. That's very efficient, to be honest. Oh, boy. 
Yes, yeah, so this mission is a raid on an alien colony site. There are two levels to the sites. Get all the aquanauts to the glowing exit in the first complex and click on the abort mission icon to proceed. Any equipment left behind will stay on the seabed until the second section is resolved. To quit. Yep, yeah, we're not going to quit. Why? Because we can't quit. We're in too deep. We need flares. We need lots of flares. I don't think we're really going to rely on die grenades too much. Going to want plenty of ammunition. Maybe that's too much. Grenades. Uh, maybe. She's quite strong, I guess. Lots of medkits. I'm not sure about grenades. I don't know how useful these are going to be. But if she's got weight limit to spare, she can have stuff. Uh, I don't think die grenades are going to be that useful here. I really don't. That gives them 40 rounds of ammo each. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, and we need to capture a live alien. We have to. That is absolutely essential. Because we need to capture commanders. And I don't know. You can... I guess you can take some grenades. And some ammo. Just in case anyone else is a little bit weak and runs out. You are very weak. You don't need that. You got one round in there, which we don't need. Um, let's get you ammoed up. Take a med kit and some flares. Or one flare. I guess one flare is better than none. Um, ammo. You've got plenty of ammo. Don't need the die grenade. You could use some more ammo. And we want you to have some flares. Because from what I can remember, these are always nighttime missions. He's fucking happy to be going, man. He's ready to rock and roll. Rip some aliens a new asshole. Well, buddy. Emilian, you'll get your chance, goddammit. You'll all get your chance. We really do need some more stun ammo, guys. Um, both hands must be empty. Okay. Really? Uh, you've got a round. Well, that was pointless. So you've got two of those. Uh, uh, I hope you're good with that thing. You're not bad, I suppose. We'll give you... Give you some flares. So you can light the way. And... Oh, that's basically all you can have. Oh, I know what you can have. You can take some of these. Yeah. Um, H. Do we only have one person with a DP launcher? We do, don't we? Who's got a lot of strength? Hmm. Your firing actually is pretty good, though. We need someone else that's... F you're a rookie, maybe, I guess. Because we need to be very aggressive. Because we know they will be. We can always manufacture more of these. 
Um, anybody else got any weight left over? H is a tank. All right. Here we go. Where are we? We're in the arsehole of nowhere. We're, we are in the corner. Now these complexes are huge. Absolutely huge. And are horrible. We've got like an alien tower right there. We can expect tentaculants in humongous um, numbers. got one. Can you H hock that over there? There we go. So our area is lit up. We are going to be so aggressive here. If we can nuke every alien with our DLP guns, that is what we were going to do. Come on, there's one. And he's got a DLP launcher. Oof. Oof. You know what that was? Okay. That was not what I thought it was. Right. Outside. Now. Aim shot. Brilliant. Fucking, oh no, you're out of TUs as well. Okay. Uh, that needs to die. That also needs to die. I cannot believe you're out of TUs. You're a rookie. So, it's not the end of the world, but it's bad enough. 44 TUs, so you can... That will do. Get back in the boat. Uh, Emilian? Well, I did tell you you're going to get your chance. Godspeed. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, 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 They've all got DLP launchers. What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Um. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Right. Did you want to have a shot at the big nasty alien? That's going to leave you with... You will have enough to run away. Wait, did I actually miss? I may have actually missed. Let's try and get some... Like... Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um... Snapshots. Uh, right, that's really bad. You protect snapshots. Oh. I am going to be doing a little bit of saving here, I think. Uh, just a little bit. Whew. 
Because if this goes tits up, well, it doesn't bode well for us, put it that way. Oh, hey, friend. What are you? Oh, you're, you've got a melee weapon. Ouch. We needed that. Oof. Very tempted to abort the mission here. And come back with a new... A new thingy. Uh... think we will persevere though fire you yep, launch torpedo blow that open right What makes this so tough as well is um, we have two phases to this mission. Two phases. So we've got to get through this phase before we get to the second phase, obviously, and the second phase is way more lethal than this. This top part is actually a cakewalk in comparison. Right. So we've got a tentacoolant. Well, okay. We've got a tentacoolant there. I'm pretty sure, from memory, and I could be wrong about this, every one of these little towers has one in. Launch torpedo. Godspeed. Good kill, H. Good kill. I'm sure that's how it works. Now, when we go down into the second part of the mission, if we get that far, it is fully possible that our men get separated completely. Oh, hi. In fact, our men will get separated completely. Throw that over there. Somewhere. There we go. Um... All right, let's see if they come round. This is so sketchy. We're going to leave so heavily on the DLP launcher here that it's not even funny. The fact that we've already lost our tank... Oh... Is a problem. 45... Yeah. I think what we need is someone that's semi good. Can you actually get a shot off at that guy? You can, but you can't hit him. K. 
Can you get a shot? 56. Oh, god damn it. Misclick. Misclick. Oh, man. There literally is no easy way to assault a base. There's no tactic for it. There is no hidden formula. You've just... What can you see? Lovely. Uh, 46. I do want to try... What can you see? You can see him. I guess you can have a shot. I don't know if it's worth it. How many turn units does it take to go down a level? Lots. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it takes like eight or nine to go up or down one square. That's kind of really sucky. Hey, friend. Even if this stage of the map goes really well. 35. Yep, you won't have enough to get in and hide. Yeah, even if this stage goes really well and we do this flawlessly with only losing. Oh, okay. Someone's gone berserk already. That's good. That actually on paper seems really good, but... Do you know what makes this mission really hard? It's not all the little aliens. It's the tentaculants. Oh, he's dropped his gun. Solid result. Ah. Uh. Yeah, the DLP rounds that will come screaming towards us. That's what I'm also concerned about. Gone berserk, gone berserk, panicked. If they can drop their DLP guns. DLP. I don't know why I always call them DLPs. It's still bugging me. There's one. There's two. What can you see? See him? Oh, that's a tentacoolant. Okay. How many? 27. Bad. Bad. Uh, 46. Bad. Fire when ready. Launch torpedo. Boosh. Contact. Good stuff. Good stuff. H, put another one in, buddy. <clears throat> nice. We are panicking them, which is good. You know. <sighs> Panicked. I don't know how we're going to do this, though. The tentacolants just freak me out so much. Who can you see? What can you see? Of course. <laughs> oh, good shot. Good shot. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it here. This is... <sighs> well, I don't want to say it's going well, because... It's not. Because we lost our tank, which means in the second portion of this, we're going to be fucked. But we've got a chance. I, I, th I think we've got a chance. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, <laughs> till next time.